Hi, YouTube. Hi, Instagram. Hi, guys. Where are you? I miss you. Please come in. It's Friday. This is our first official live on a Friday. Hi, love. Yes, I got one, two, five. Hi, guys. Oh, my God. I miss you so much. I miss you so much. Hi, love. Who is here on the live today? Tell me, where are you from? Hey, YouTube. I want to see YouTube here as well. Guys, I have two cameras. Uh, Instagram is here with me, and I also have YouTube up there. Hi. I miss you guys. So, if this is your first time watching my live, come on in. It's going to be a great English class. Today's topic is vacation, <laughs> which for me is perfect because I just came back. Hi, love. Hi there. Oh, I miss you guys so much. Hi, Abtin comes after a long time. Yes, Abtin, I love it. Guys, today is Friday. Usually, I do the live on Wednesdays, but I am making some changes on my channel. And uh, because it's one year, one year of Hi Amanda, oh my God, so excited. I miss you a lot, babe. Me too, my love, me too. Hi, uh, guys. Anyways, I'm so excited. Let me give you a few... Um, let me give you a few information, a few notes, okay? Let me give you a few notes. First of all, today's live. Hi, teacher, vacation or holiday? Here's the same. I'm new, how are you? Hi, welcome. If you are new, just wait a little. I'm going to talk about today's live, today's class. It's about vacation. So let's talk about, I gave you guys two possibilities routine or vacation and honestly it was really close very very close a lot of people want to talk about routine and i think it's a great subject so i promise another day i will talk to you guys about your routine but the subject the topic what's your topic there you go the topic of today's live People vote on Instagram, right? So if you voted, I don't know if you voted for routine or vacation, but vacation won. The winner is vacation. So I will talk to you guys about vacation. Just a conversation. Start thinking about your favorite vacation destination or maybe the best trip of your life. And I will share with you guys about my trip this week. I just spent one week in California. You know that was my dream. I said that on the channel before, and you know your coach is all about making dreams come true. Yes, I'm all about making dreams come true, and I made one of my dreams come true this week with a trip to California, Los Angeles, and also San Diego. Hello, hello, you have nice teeth. Thank you. <laughs> I try. Come to Iran. So anyways, guys, I'm so excited to be here. If this is your first time, usually my live lasts about one hour. And I always start just asking you, where are you from? Is this your first time watching my live? What time is it? where you are right now because hi amanda is very international usually there you go my favorite destination for traveling is thailand oh my god abteen i have never been to thailand but people tell me it's beautiful my next question for you guys is cheers from melbourne hi love uh melbourne which country come to saudi arabia i would love Love to come to Saudi Arabia. It's 1.30 p.m. in Iran. I don't know. I think it's 1.30 a.m. at night, right? Are you Brazilian? Yes, I was born in Brazil, guys. Hello, my best teacher. Hi, Mohamed. Welcome. Come on in the class, guys. I'm from Governador Valadares. Ooh, Minas. Me too. I'm from Belo Horizonte. I'm now. 
now in Rocco. Yes, I miss you so much, Amanda. I'm on vacation. Now I can watch your lives and improve my listening. Hi, Israel. I miss you too. I thought you abandoned me. But nice, you're on vacation and today's topic is vacation. So I want you to tell me, guys, what do you guys do when you are on vacation? Pretty simple question. Let's start this conversation now. What do you guys do when you are on vacation? Why you don't read my message? Oh my guys, uh, guys, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's, it's because there are a lot of messages. I love all of you. It's because there are a lot of messages. Me too, but I have seen some pics from Thailand. It was awesome. <laughs> Very cool. That's your destination now. And you are not too far from Thailand, I think. I'm not sure. Uh, come to Kurdistan, Stanimo, babies. Australia, Melbourne, Australia. That's so awesome. I love that. Um, so guys, I'm sorry. I'm trying to read all the comments, but it's Hi, Wendy, you're beautiful. I like your English and your accent. I'm from Honduras. Hi, welcome to my channel. Guys, um, I always do the live on two channels at the same time. I have YouTube here and Instagram. And YouTube, the live is saved forever, right? Every live in the last one year. Guys, one year of Hyamon. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I'm really excited. July is our anniversary month. I have so many surprises. And on my trip, I made a lot of videos teaching you English. I'm going to post everything. Uh, anyway, so July is our anniversary month. And if you want to watch all the lives that I have ever done, you can go to YouTube. They're all on YouTube. So go to YouTube and put... Hi, Amanda, English coach. You will find so many videos, so many lessons and lives. Um, make sure to leave a comment so I know that you checked it out. Um, and I try to read your comments, but it's hard. Sometimes check your direct. Yes, I promise I check, but every day there is about a hundred messages <sighs> and I have to work and I have to work on the channel and I have to eat and sleep and that's it. But I am much happier because I took a little bit of vacation time for me. So now I am full of energy to continue giving my best to you guys. Hi, we all get all this energy. <laughs> Good. So guys, let's start the lesson. Okay. After all, love handles. You're you are looking at love handles. <gasps> Do I look like I gained some weight? Like I have some love handles? Guys, I mean, a little bit, you know, it's hard to keep in shape, but I'm trying and I will. I'm getting better. I'm getting better. Uh, anyways, guys, where am I from? I was born in Brazil. I also I grew up in France and I live in the US. By the way, guys, uh, please go to my biography. It's on Facebook. Please go to F Facebook. I just spent so many hours uh, and days writing my story to you, the story of the channel. Um, so go read it. Please go practice English. Read a little bit. What's the difference between remind and remember? That is a great question. I need to do a video about this, by the way. Do you speak Spanish? Un poquito, no mucho. I understand, comprendo bien, pero no hablo muy bien. Uh, good luck in your channel. Thank you, my love. It's not my channel. It's our channel, right? It's our channel, guys. But anyways, I have, I miss you guys so much. And I have so much to talk about with you. I think I need to do five lives every week. One for every day of the week. Anyways, um... I told you I had a few notes for you, of uh, some information. The first one is our live is, hi, love, nature, baby. I read all your biography, really interesting. I know you told me you're one of the only followers who messaged me about reading my biography and that you understand who I am better. You're so special to me, so, 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 so special. 
Uh, I am happy for reading my words <laughs> that I'm reading. About. So, guys, uh, I always ask you for just patience, love, and kindness because it's hard for me to answer all the messages. And I don't, uh, it's just me. I'm the only one that can answer. Every time I answer you, it doesn't matter if it's a heart or if it's a big text, it's me, okay? I'm always the one answering and I like to answer taking my time. I like to really give myself and not to be, you know, in my car and running and all of that. Uh, could you, my love, visit Morocco? That I just posted yesterday. Yesterday, Thursday, I posted many hearts. I love you guys. I posted a new video to teach you guys about how to give advice using should. Like, oh, you should check your direct more often. And then I say, oh, I'm sorry, I don't have a lot of time. And you say, well, you could um, go to bed an hour later and answer the messages. <laughs> That's a suggestion, right? I, I'll be tired, but it's a suggestion. Basically, you can use could for a suggestion. Should an advice and could a suggestion on how to do this advice. Go check out the video. <laughs> you guys will love it. Go to YouTube. Go check out the new video. Uh, and maybe next week I will do a live so I can review that with you. How about that? But today's live is Let's Talk about we are going to talk about vacation today and if this is your first time you don't know this but if you are a loyal hi on the follower you know that i always drink tea guys i need tea to calm myself down and about remind and remember some people are asking here and here okay i will answer this question and i will also record a video about remind and remember so, um, you use remember when you are talking about your memories of something. Remember is connected to your memories. So, you say, um, I need to remember uh, to answer the questions, right? So, remember is something that happens inside of me, in, for myself, inside of me. I need to remember remember or i can tell you you need to remember so you have the memory you will remember remember comes from me okay remind is actually usually it comes from the other person i would i will tell you please remind me of answering the comments okay so only i can remember my memories but I can remind another person. So when I remind another person, I tell them to remember. Something like this, right? So I say, remind me to call my mother. Or I need to remember to call my mother. Do you guys kind of get it? I need to make a video to explain better because you caught me off guard. Anyways, I gave YouTube an explanation and I have so many comments here now. But if I missed some of the things you said, please repeat, babes. Come on my page and follow me, please. Yes, I will try. Send me a message at the end of the live so I can access it. Um, you should drink our tea, Moroccan tea. I would love to. I'm going to get a P.O. box and address to give you guys so you can send me anything that you want. I would love, love, love to try it. Remember refers to the speaker. Remind refers to someone who we speak to. Something like that, right? That's the movement. Remember is the person speaking, right? Remind is who we speak to. That's the way to describe it. The best way is giving you guys context, dialogue, examples. So, and another thing that's important is I can also say that you remind me of someone. If I think that you, uh, if I think that you look like, I don't know, uh, you look like, 
like Selena Gomez. You remind me of Selena Gomez, right? So that's also a different way to use remind when the other person causes you to think it's similar, right? This place reminds me of my childhood. So again, something from the outside is creating my memory, right? This reminds me versus I remember, right, from the speaker. Which book is good for listening? It depends on what you like. There are a lot of great books. For starting learn English, it's necessary to use the native language. I don't understand your question. The, what do you mean the native language? Of course. I, I'm sorry, but I don't understand very well what you're asking me. Is your live on Saturday now? No, love, it's on Friday. Is it Saturday in your country? <laughs> By the way, I miss you. How are you? The live will always be on Fridays now. I changed the date so I can so I can make a few more changes here. Happy to see you again. Me too, man. Me too. Me too. Hi, ah, familiar faces, new faces, familiar faces. How about the lesson? Yes, ping ping. I'm sorry, I'm taking too long. I'm still on vacation mode, maybe. By the way, guys, I'm wearing my glasses today because I lost my contacts during the trip. Two days before going home, I lost them. So how about the lesson, right? <laughs> That's so sweet. How about the lesson? Let me make my tea because I need to make tea. And like I was saying, this is a tradition. So I will share a message with you guys. I always have yogi tea because I love it and because there's a message. Enough with the chit chat. Let's start our lesson. I want to talk to you guys about vacation. A lot of questions. Which app do you recommend on the phone? Um, Duolingo is okay. My dear, I must leave. I'm sorry. Please change time of your life. Thank you. Uh, good night. It's 1.45 a.m. here. Oh, I've been, I'm sorry. This is the only time I can, but I'm glad you were here for a little bit. Oh, I live in Japan, so it's Saturday here. Yes, I know you live in Japan. <laughs> Is this a better time and life for you? It's here, it's Friday, 5.30 p.m. Hi, where are you from? I'm from Brazil, but I live in the United States for a long time now. Um, okay, love, so for those of you who are loyal followers, who are waiting for the live, there you go, Isabel. Thank you, babe, for answering. Oh, look at this. I love this. This today's today's message is very simple. Today's message is people who love are giving. People who love are giving. I'm from Florida. Really, Jess? Oh my god. Are you learning English? What's your I'm, I live in Florida. Are you in Orlando by any chance? We should meet. Uh, people who love are giving, people who love are giving. I absolutely adore this message and I will post it. Love you, Hi. And I will post it. People who love are giving. I love you guys. I hope I'm giving you a good life today, even though we didn't start the lesson yet. People who love are giving. Yes, babe. Thank you for writing that. I love it. What time is... I'm trying to read all the comments. I'm trying to keep up. Hello, Amanda. Oh, you're very nice. People who love are given. Yes. You know Oliver Moy? No, is that a city in Florida? No, not at all. He was up. Um, I live in Germany and Europe is usually six hours ahead. So let's count. 5.30, right? 30, 7.30, 8.30, 9.30, 10.30, 11.30. Ah, I know Europe is six hours ahead. By the way, so since we are talking about vacation, when you travel um, to a place that is very far and, the, and it's a different time, what do I call that? What's the name of that? Here in Orlando, it's 5.30 p.m., in Germany, it's 11.30 p.m. So we are in different... What's the name of that? 
Amanda, dear, please send your address in the direct. I would love to surprise my teacher. Abtin, yes. I will get a PO box and I will and I will share my address with you guys. I would love to receive uh, surprises. My students always did that in the classroom. I want to continue this tradition. Abtin, you're the best. I like you to answer my question, please. Oh, yeah, I missed your question. I'm sorry. Go again. A lot of comments both here and here. Again, guys, if I travel on vacation to another country or even like me, I traveled nationally, but I went to the other side of the United States. So I was in a different... Jess, that's very rude. Why did you say that? Get out of my life. You're not welcome anymore. Uh, thank you. I've been a teacher for 12 years. I want respect. I am fun. I am pretty. But I am a teacher. I'm a professional. If you don't respect me, you're out of my classroom, of my channel. Okay? Sorry, guys. But I'm a really good teacher. I'm very sweet. But I also know how to slap people on their back when they need to um you never answered to about my proposition hi buddy you're from boston right uh i'm from iran 21 years old want to find a good girlfriend visit from my page oh my goodness guys work on being a good person and you will find good people to interact with i think Travel is a long trip. You have decided to travel to a country or city for a long time. And a trip is a short traveling. True? No, babe. Not really, Abtin. No, a trip is a trip. Traveling is an action, right? Traveling, uh, I say I love traveling, which is the action. But I would say I love to take trips. Americans like to say take a trip not have take a trip so a trip versus travel traveling right but my question to you guys here is listen to me i went to california last week california has a different time right like germany we are from all over the world so we are in different What's the name of this? You know, when you look at the globe and you have like this, it's vertical. What do I call this? A different. Um, I'm sorry, easy English. Uh, you want to come into the live? I'm, I don't have a lot of practice with that. I need to uh, make sure that I have control. I will try to plan the live where we interact more but my please talk about short adjectives like cold and hot what do you mean short adjectives how thank you the answer of your question is time zones do you travel to europe yes i try two years ago i went to france it was amazing and uh and and holland yes thank you guys so we are talking about vacation if you travel internationally or even if you travel in the same country like florida california florida is on the east coast california is on the west coast so i had to take uh i had to travel for five hours in the airplane five hours going this way going to the west the time zone changed so different time zones I'm sure that we are in different time zones because you guys are from all over the world, right? I mentioned before, hello, hello, Matthew, English teacher. Are you here to learn English or to also learn how to teach English or to just support a fellow teacher? Anyways, guys, so one of the things about vacation is to check your time zone. If you are traveling to another country, you will probably change the time zone. I, I already started the lesson. We are. This is a let's talk about. So we're talking about vacation. Um, I want to ask you guys. I want to ask you this. 
When you are on vacation, what do you do? I want to know that. When you're on vacation, like Israel, Israel told me, is that's not the country, okay? Israel Lucas, my student. Uh, when you are on vacation, what do you guys like to do? Obviously, for me, one of my favorite things is I like to travel or I like traveling. But that's not the only thing I do with my vacation time, right? Hi, I'm gonna miss you. Hi, Rosa. Miss you too. Come on in, baby. Uh, I am here to learn how to teach and listen to nice American accent. Fabulous. Welcome, Matthew. You are so welcome to our classroom. Um, if you have any suggestions, any questions, if you want to help me in any way. Uh, I, I learn English from you. You teach English perfect and wonderful. I love you guys. We say holiday in British, by the way. And, and when I am on it, I teach English. Um, yes, guys, uh, I like to travel too. Go out with my friends, meet new places, visit and new people. Let me teach you guys something about this is how uh, we usually don't meet a place. Look at how interesting, right? Conhecer um lugar. I meet new people, but I don't meet new places. Meet, meeting is for people, is for people. I visit new places. Hi, hi, Lippy. Guys, my, my friend is here. My best friend is here. I love it. So good to have you here. I, uh, I, like, know, I like to know new cultures, uh, to learn about everything about the country. Yes, me too. When I'm on vacation and I'm traveling, I want to try the local food, the local restaurants, visit new places. Thank you, Amanda. Yes, is how that was a really good tip, actually guys a lot of students talk about um meet right like i met a new place no never i visited so excellent there you go uh to rest and visit my friends good when we are on vacation we should rest right we work so much we study so much so uh resting uh meeting your friends visiting new places those are all great things to do when you're on vacation when i am in another country or i love to walk yes right walk around we say a lot walk around the city to see um what kind of shops they have what kind of architecture they have in germany um no, uh, when i was a little girl when not really i don't remember anything i would love to go to germany again Amanda, I like traveling is wrong. No, it's good. Look, I like uh, I like to eat pizza. I like eating pizza. They are both correct. I like to travel. I like traveling. Both correct. You know what's wrong? I like to travel. You can use to travel or I like traveling. Very good complete your order no sorry i got an important email there uh, i like to find out the other culture and cost uh, and costume be careful costumes and I like to get to know we use that a lot in english get to know i like to get to know the local uh hey i'm a little late Aloisio, let's talk kind of live. So it's very laid back. When something is relaxed, we say it's laid from laid up. It's laid back. So today's live is very laid back. Um, and I forgot to drink my tea. You guys need to remind me to drink my tea. I need to remember. I enjoy the Drania t-shirt. Yes, it's an owl. This is like a t-shirt dress. It's very long. So it's one of my favorites to kind of stay in the house. And it's a really long dress. That's a t-shirt. I like vacation to sleep. So say, I like to sleep when I'm on vacation. Longer sentence, right? 
I like vacation to sleep is a little, right? Or I like to sleep on vacation. When I am on vacation. Better. Um, I like to read books uh, when I'm on vacation. Good. And by the way, um, I think it was Matthew English that said, uh, last week we did a live. I talked to you guys about the difference between British English and American English. And it's true. We say uh, holiday. British English, we say, I am on holiday. And American English, we say, I am um on vacation is how you said you also wear contacts <laughs> you know what happened to me i fell asleep in the sauna you know when you go to the swimming pool and they have a sauna a s-a-u-n-a -A, a sauna and it was a dry sauna i i was so tired i fell asleep when i woke up i kind of scratched my eyes walk oh only one contact. So I'm wearing glasses and I ordered new contacts now. Hello, I like to listen to you. Good. Thank you, babe. Uh, let me see. Matthew is a. So we drink tea with milk in England. Have you ever drunk milk tea? I'm lactose intolerant, so I don't really put milk on anything. But I could put almond milk. But I don't like black tea. I don't like strong tea. I like herbal tea to be honest like something really light and today actually i'm going to take a picture later today i'm drinking cinnamon vanilla not my favorite but okay let me have a sip my voice needs it i know it says i don't give a sip but i need to give a sip i give a sip do you get this joke by the way Oh, you look beautiful with glasses. Thank you, guys. <laughs> I will try to wear them more often. Um, I usually wear them, you know, in my house before going to bed and things like that. Okay, babe. So you told me a little bit about what you do when you're on vacation or on holiday. Because in England, we say on holiday. What places would you suggest for a vacation where you speak clear English for those that have never left the country? Great question. Um, I would suggest California or Colorado if you want to go skiing. California is amazing. You can go skiing. You can go to the beach. You, there's everything there. So if, if you can, go to California. If you go to the north, like Boston, New York, it's amazing. But the accent is not clearer, actually. So I would suggest California or Florida or in the middle, more in the middle, Colorado. Um, I don't give it. I like to chat with you. Good. This is a let's talk uh, kind of class. So suggest England too. Yes, of course. I'm, a, I'm only thinking about the United States, right? I'm such a little American. Bleh. No, <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, of course, go to England. Go to England. And Matthew, where in England do you think it's easy to understand people's accents? What do you think? I still have a hard time sometimes understanding uh, British English accent. Holiday means the holy something. We appreciate it and respect. This is right, teacher. Um, honestly, I really researched the meaning of the word holiday. It has to be holy day, right? It comes from when the, you know, it's a saint and things like that. Here in America, a holiday is more connected to that, to 4th of July. 4th of July is a holiday. Uh, I will never say again, meet new places. Nice. Yeah, that was awesome. See, you come watch my life one day and you already learned something. You need me in your life is how. <laughs> I love you. you. You have been here for so long. I got you. Um, not London, not Liverpool, not Manchester, not Newcastle, other places speak clear. Nice. <laughs> so tell me where I shouldn't go. Uh, British accent is so difficult. It depends, right? Some people learn first with 
British and they think America. But I agree. I think we have a lot more movies and songs and things like that to connect with American English. Uh, Cambridge, Ox yeah, there you go. Go to Cambridge, go to Oxford, and you will listen to great English. Thank you, Matthew. I want to know more about you later. Uh, what's your nationality? How long have you been teaching English? Um, where do you live in England? I want to know. What the question when you go to embassy? I don't know where for American, the consulate. Usually you don't go to the embassy for an American visa. You go to the consulate, consulate. Um, that's it, right? What the question when you go to the, I don't know where for American visa. That's what you wanted to ask me, babe? Anyways, guys, I want to ask you more questions. No, I think Americans is the best accent. It's lovely. <laughs> Ding. You like my accent, don't you? I have a very American accent, but I still keep some of my Brazilian roots. By the way, guys, I, I gave you so much suspense about my trip, and I haven't really revealed what I was doing yet. Not that much. So I went to visit um, a very special friend, someone that I actually work with. You know that I am an English coach. I'm an English teacher for many years, 12 years language teacher. I teach French, I teach Portuguese, I teach English in schools and um, all kinds of places. But I'm also a coach, I'm a life coach, and I use that a lot in the way that I teach. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Andre. Uh, To them, I'm not, I'm not online here, but I learned from, I'm teaching English in Istanbul, Turkey. That's so awesome! Look, guys, there's a teacher from Istanbul, Turkey here, and he's actually English. Love it, Matthew. Really, um, it's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. <laughs> I don't know if that's British to say that, but lovely meeting you. Uh, my nationality would be English. Very cool. How old are you? Anyways, guys. Um, this is a Let's Talk um, live, and I want to talk to you guys. I want to tell you about my vacation, and I want to hear about your vacation. So first, you guys tell me, when was, you told me when you're on vacation, you like to rest, check, I agree, meet friends, okay? So what do you like to do with your friends when you meet? What kinds of things do you do? Sure, you can travel, like we said, but you can also stay in your city, in your town. And then what kinds of things do you do on vacation when you stay home? When you are, you know, you rest, you meet friends, but what do you do with your friends when you meet? I'm 28 and it's all my pleasure getting to know you. Very cool, Matthew, I hope we can exchange a little bit more it's 31 years old guys this baby face <laughs> can really fool people i am 31 years old but i'm such a girly girl uh very good so when you're on vacation you can rest you can travel play fifa nice play video i like to play fifa by the way i like playing fifa but now in my new home i don't have a tv i don't have video games i just have a laptop to work 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 <laughs> and my phones to talk to you guys um so yeah no tv no fifa for me but very cool you like playing video games i like meeting friends and making it so funny and crazy nice do you guys like to go out dancing when you are with your friends or do you prefer to go uh out eating for example Yes, the face is not like 31, baby face. I know. <laughs> and I'm very small too, so I people never believe that I'm 31. <laughs> Hi, I'm from Palestine. Hi, welcome, babe. That's so awesome. I hang out uh, in the city which I visit. Then I try to find traditional places of that city and my favorite places all over the world uh, and my favorite places all over the world are shopping malls 
I I love you, Abdeen. When you when not if my friend when when you come to Orlando, I'm gonna take you to the shopping malls and the outlets, and we're gonna go shopping together. It's gonna be awesome. Uh, uh, little bubbly personality too. Hello from Panama. Hi, Santiago. Hello from Panama. So guys. Uh, my last question to you is, because live is finishing soon, um, how long do you think a vacation should be? Actually, I, I still have a lot of questions for you guys. Uh, Brazilian barbecue, music and friends all day long. Ah, that's good for a vacation. I agree. I miss barbecue with Brazilian friends. Mm, I want to go visit my friends. So that's, that's what I want doing in California way I had two missions in California the first one was to meet with um, someone very special my coach and my good good friend and someone that I worked with in a lot of workshops he has always told me come visit California you need to you need to come see LA you need to come see the lifestyle here because I think about moving to California a lot and um hi from venezuela costa rica hi guys tehran wow people from all over from here from here from here i love it uh and the other reason why i went to california is because you guys know this my childhood best friend like my best friend in my life that i know for years and years and years she lives in boston that's why i go to boston so often and I went to see her and her family. We all got together for her mother's birthday. So it was a very special time for family, for friends, and for work because I actually connected with a lot of people in California. From China, hi. Well, hi from China, that's freaking amazing. Hello from Algeria, hi guys. We are talking about vacation. You make me want to travel all over the world. China, Morocco, Turkey, uh, Algeria, where else? Iran, and yes, please. Saudi Arabia, I wanna go to all those places. Venezuela, Honduras, I wanna go to uh, Tun Tunisia, Tunisia. I think we say Tunisia. I have to check in English. Some countries I'm not even sure. Nice to meet you, Nasro. Nice, that's your name? That's your name, man? Mm. Hello, hello from Morocco and England. Yes, I know, Matthew, England is there, absolutely. And actually, England is on the top of my list. Next time I go to Europe, I have to go to London. I have to go to England. Uh, as Azerb I cannot say that. I need to research some of the countries in English. Uh, as Azerbaijan. No, I'm saying this like a stupid American. Spain. Yeah, Spain. Uh, but I will learn how to say the name of your country in American English. I promise. I'm on vacation in Croatia, but you're from Austria. Amazing, guys. A lot of people are on vacation because it's summer in a lot of countries right now. And anyways, July is winter break for the South Hemisphere and summer break for the North Hemisphere. So it's a longer vacation. Like, oh, by the way, look at this. Look at how cute, Matthew. Thinking about you. I have my, my souvenir here for my students that go to England. Can you help me to improve English, please? Not how, can you help me to improve? Of course, babe, sign up, follow my channel, watch the videos, leave your comments. I promise I'll help. Um, so I was asking you guys, how long should a vacation be? Someone said two months is okay. Guys, that's amazing. I wish I could take two months off completely two months off work two months no way for me one week off work that's it that's the, the vacation that i get but i try to travel several times a year you know three days here four days there one week in july one week at the end of the year i'm from paraguay hi welcome babe 
Okay, next question for you guys. Um, do you like to try local foods when you go somewhere? We already talked about this. Um, what is the best age to travel? Can children appreciate the experience? Uh, what are the... Okay, I have a question for you guys. What are the advantages and disadvantages to of of traveling alone? What are the advantages and disadvantages of traveling alone? I'm going to post lots of pictures from my trip in Croatia. Check my profile, guys. Very cool. Okay, I will. I love that. Post them, please. Uh, uh, I work hard, so one week, it's okay. Exactly, me too. I work hard. Here in the United States, guys, people do not... Uh, take long vacations. This is a country where it's really hard to take a vacation. I know, for example, in Europe and in England, people will take at least one month a year of vacation. Uh, here in the United States, sometimes it's 10 days all year. Uh, but since I work for myself, um, I don't work for a company. I don't. I work as a freelancer. I do translation. I do interpreter workshops. That's why I'm always so busy. My schedule is crazy, guys. It's the channel. It's private classes. It's uh, working as an interpreter in conferences or business meetings, translations, documents, and visa processes. So I'm, I always have some kind of work to do. Uh, but then I organize my own schedule and I can take a vacation sometimes, right? Uh, discover yourself. Yes, one of the advantages is you discover yourself. When you do stuff 10 days a year, yeah, th that's nuts, right? Thank God I work for myself. I could never work for a company. That's why I... I I prefer to make less money and work for myself than to make more money and be, you know, a slave in a company. Uh, advantage, I can go I can go freedom and do what I want to do. I can be free, okay, babe? Not go freedom. I can be free and do what I want to do. Yes, I love traveling alone because of that too. You have an amazing life, Amanda. Thank you, babe. Everyone can have an amazing life. And I get it. Sometimes it's tough. I can't travel alone because I'm married, I'm Muslim, and our religion, the women can't just travel alone. Sorry, it was very big. It disappeared. <laughs> Sorry. But yes, I know that in Muslim culture, very, very different. Uh, I'm here talking about uh, Brazilian culture, South America, American culture. We are definitely very free. Women are free to go wherever they want whenever they want and i love that personally uh i went for london for 10 days alone that was the best thing i've already i i have ever done okay that was the best thing i've ever done wow emmy costa emmy from what what's your name i love that please tell me the time when you're free to message i don't like to disturb you oh my love I saw your message today, like, sorry to disturb you. Guys, you never disturb me. I love seeing your messages. I just can't answer when I am not free. I like to answer when I am 100% free. And every day is different. Sometimes I get home thinking, I'm going to answer everyone today. But I get home late. I have to cook and eat. And I'm so tired and... And I fall asleep so it's hard to know if you see me online on Instagram it doesn't mean that I am there it doesn't mean that sometimes it's because uh, someone is helping me with the posts or it could be a thousand things or I left the app open so when you see me there it doesn't mean that I'm there and then I see your messages I know you want me to answer more and I'll try okay but you never bother me never ever eventually I will answer I think traveling alone is so boring. Really? Listen, I I just went to California and I traveled alone because I it was just me. But when I arrived, I met with a very special group of friends. And I agree. The trip was amazing because we were with a group that was 
so much fun. When you travel alone, you need to be an adventurer. You need to like meeting new people and visiting new places by yourself or whatever. Go with the flow, right? Whenever my boss texts me, I tell him, oh, sir, you disturbed me. <laughs> you really tell him that? I don't believe you. Hi, Amanda, your English is very clear. Thank you, guys. I try. I have good diction. Uh, effort, Asma, do you know effortless English? No, no. I'll check it out. Mm. Anyways, my babes, let me finish finish my tea a few more questions about vacation this Ayana! i have another best best friend that joined the live um yeah you like this don't you uh i actually have yada we have a teacher here today matthew he's english and he is such a nice presence here on the live today uh yada guys is my friend from college Look at that, 10 years ago, we became friends at the university and nowadays she is living in Canada and I'm here in the US. So we have the immigrant life in common. <laughs> we call each other all the time to talk about things. Lottie, hi! another friend, guys, all my girlfriends and my best friends are joining the live today. I love it, hey, Chuchu. By the way, guys, I need to finish the live very soon, actually, because I have plans to meet uh, Lottie. <laughs> I have to give her a few things. And bonsoir, oh, mais c'est bonsoir. Hein? You know, I have a weakness for French. I want to speak French all the time. Could you send me, please, his channel? Um, you're talking to someone else there, right? If you don't mind, send me your Facebook. Guys, my Facebook, my YouTube, everything is... Hi, Amanda, English coach. You can find me on Twitter. You can find me everywhere. Are you live now? Yes, I'm live right now here. Hi, hello. <laughs> uh, hi, Amanda, I'm your fan. Hey, babe, good to have you here. So good to meet a fan. Why my fan? Because you're learning English? Because you like my energy? And you think I'm fun and crazy? <laughs> Okay, guys, so today we had a good conversation about vacation. Obviously, I still want to ask you a thousand questions. You're welcome, babe. Nice to see you. So nice to have everybody here. His method's called Effortless English. I'm going to check out this guy. Let me see how he is. Effortless English. Anyways, don't come to my live to talk about other channels. I'm joking. You can do that. It's okay. Bonsoir et au revoir. That's it. Hello and goodbye. So fast. We are finishing the. Oh, hi, love. I love to travel by myself and I love you. All my friends are here today, guys. I'm going to cry. All my best girlfriends decided to join the live today. I have Yara. I have Larissa. I have Clau, Claudia. I love you and Pinterest. Amazing. Ah, you follow my Pinterest. Guys, my Pinterest really is amazing. It's beautiful, it's super organized. I love nature. I'm Rita, ooh, I always remember your Instagram names, guys. So sorry. Um, anyways, you're one of the best. You read my biography. You follow me on Pinterest. It's amazing. Javier, hi, Amanda. Don't cry, baby. Yeah. <laughs> I'm very, very emotional these days. I have a lot of things happening to me. I'm very emotional. So good, guys. We talked about vacation today. Listen, we talked about... What do you like to do when you're on vacation? You guys told me travel, uh, visit new places, meet with friends, rest. Um, you told me what you like to do when you're traveling and places that you like a vacation can be. And then I asked you the advantages and disadvantages of two. I will cry over you guys. This friend of mine is leaving. She's going back to Brazil. I don't know what I will do with my life. I will get emotional. I cannot talk about this during the live. I will get super emotional. You will kill me? Why? You are so energetic and happy. Love you. <laughs> Thank you, babe. I love you guys. I love you guys. Go shopping. Yes, we talked about... I. Why do we want to go shopping when we're on vacation? Um, I don't have money and I want to go shopping. 
I hope one day you can explore Albania. Yes, I would love to. I told that because you, you have speak for vacation and traveling. I suggest Albania, Balkan, the, the Balkan, right? Amazing. I actually have a friend that is Albanian, but he moved to Greece when he was a baby. A lot of, there are a lot of Albanian immigrants in Greece. Is that right? Am I, am I saying something correct here? Hi, how are you doing? I like to travel around the world and discover new places. By the way, I'm from Algeria. Hi, welcome. I like to do the same. So that's my last question for today's live. When we are on vacation, obviously we love to travel. That's a great way to spend your vacation, to actually take some time to get out of your life and go reset, right? Go explore, expand your mind and your horizons. So, my question to you is, what is, uh, where is, okay, where is the place that you have visited that is your favorite? What was your favorite vacation destination so far, right? In the future, you can go to other places, but so far... When you look at all the vacations, all the trips that you have taken, what was your favorite? I want to know. Send a kiss for me from Brazil. Adelino, um beijo, meu amor. Oops. Sorry, guys. Uh, my battery is almost over and Instagram is giving me one minute to finish the live because it's going to be one hour and I can't be here for more than one hour, even though I want to because I love you guys. Um, Saranda uh, Xamil, Blue Eye, that is in Albania. The place? Yeah, Antarctica, amazingly wild. Oh my God, that's it's amazing. My favorite trip was Paris. You know, Paris was very special for me too. I can't pick. I California was amazing right now. How can you pick one favorite vacation? Um, I love it, guys. I was in Vietnam. I loved it there. Good. I love your answers. We are an international channel of people who want to learn English to get to know other cultures and places and people love it istanbul was very great um i enjoyed it great i enjoyed it yes my favorite vacation is palma de mallorca spain wonderful wow amazing i love it youtube i'm sorry i'm just mesmerized with the answers from instagram you guys are kicking ass so good my favorite place was spain beautiful guys a lot of places in albania i will go to albania there you go i put albania on my list you have one guys i have to say goodbye 15 seconds the live is gonna crash it's gonna end i love you so much please go check out the video on youtube from yesterday and i'll see you for the next live next week Mwah. love you Bye, YouTube. Come here in Algeria. I will. And again, YouTube, Instagram has a lot of messages constantly. A lot of short messages and I'm always reading. So I just want to say I love you guys. Thank you for being here. Please go check out the video from yesterday. I will try to answer your comments tonight. Could you explain the difference between run across and cut the video, please? Uh... Okay, it's not so simple, but great. Let me write this down, okay? Run across versus come across, right? I actually already have a video about come across. Go to my phrasal verb list, okay? And check out come across. I'm almost sure I have a video about that. Love you guys. I'll see you next week, next Friday at the same time. And please go to Instagram. There's a lot of content there, okay? I have a challenge for you guys on Monday. I have a tip, English tip on Tuesday. And next Thursday, new video on YouTube. Anyways, I have to go. I'm cheating. I finished their live, but I'm still here. I love you guys. Bye. Bye, Pipi.